Thank you, thank you, Stally. Thank you, everyone, for coming out in this tropical weather. Um, uh, I, uh, you know, as has been mentioned, yesterday morning at 10 a.m., the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists set the doomsday clock, which is the famous metaphorical symbol that experts from the Bulletin use to tell us how close we are to nuclear catastrophe. According to this year's doomsday clock, we are closer than we have ever been in history to the risk of nuclear armageddon. That may surprise perhaps not the people behind me, but perhaps the people in front of me who are walking by, because I don't think that this is something that most New Yorkers and most Americans, most US citizens realize. And yet, as we're walking by and going to work and home and school, we are at greater risk than even at the height of the Cold War that we will all be destroyed, that everything we hold dear will be gone forever. And here in New York City, as Dr. Sullivan just mentioned, this is the city where nuclear weapons began. We have a special responsibility to act and to do something about it. So what are we doing about it? Well, this is what we're doing about it. I'm holding a copy of the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, which entered into force exactly, well, one day off, but uh, one year ago, on January 22nd, 2021. Happy anniversary, everyone. Happy first anniversary. And yes, I bring you greetings from the International Campaign to Abolish Nuclear Weapons. We are the winners of the 2017 Nobel Peace Prize. And I'll just tell you real quickly before we get moving about what this treaty has accomplished even in its first year. Just a few things. Um, you know, in this past year, we've seen more states join the treaty. We now stand at 59 states parties as we prepare for the first meeting of states parties to be held later this year. Um, in this year, more states have gone on record in support of the treaty. We're at all time high for support. More than two thirds of the world, 138 countries support this treaty and are working to join it. Um, more financial institutions have divested from the nuclear weapons industry in this past year. Trillions of dollars have been divested by financial institutions that are citing the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons as the reason why they are divesting because nuclear weapons are now illegal. More parliamentarians and Congress people have been pledging to bring on their country to join the treaty as well. More than 2,000 have signed the ICANN pledge where they pledge to bring their countries to join the treaty. More cities have been declaring that they support the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons and call on their national governments to join. 119 cities joined last, just in this past year. Now we have hundreds of cities around the world that have joined and not least, but in fact best, this city, New York City, joined on December 9th, just a month ago. Uh, and that was a comprehensive, as you just heard, a comprehensive and consequential package of legislation that does much more than that, that will bring our city to divest from the nuclear weapons industry, that will set up this, uh, this, this, this committee, that will help educate New Yorkers and reverse the stories we've been told about nuclear weapons and, and help bring about a safer world. It's a really exciting, exciting piece of this puzzle. So that's what we're doing about it. Um, happy first anniversary, and thank you for listening today. Go to ICANW.org to learn more about us. Follow hashtag nuclear ban uh, on all the medias. And um, yeah, happy anniversary. Thank you. Yeah.